Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my Journeyman series. Um, episode one, we managed to pick up a job at EIF, who are in the Finland League. So let's just quickly jump to club info. Here we go. Yeah, semi-professional team. We're in the league table. We're pretty much rock bottom. I've taken over rock bottom. We need to try and get out of here. Uh, I don't know how many games... I'm assuming there's 23 games, so we've got six games to get out of this situation. We managed to draw our first game, which I'm quite happy with. But moving forwards, this squad is very poor, <laughs> literally. The only good player is this centre-back, and he's like not good. But in terms of this league, he's, he's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing a few things behind the scene, uh, behind the scenes, trying to sort out staff members. I've put a lot of jobs, like adverts out for jobs. I think we're okay here. I just literally just signed a coach, uh, Hamalin, Hamalinen. Um, he's just an assistant manager. He's a coach. Uh, he's going to come in and fill up our coaching spots, which is good. And over here, we had, we literally didn't have a scout, so I've just put an effort out for just a head scout and a regular scout for now. Like in terms of money, we don't have too much money, so I don't want to spend it all. But I think. Staff members are the only way we're going to actually like progress as a team. No, sorry, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, also, I had a look at the under 20 staff. Literally, we've got no, well, we've got a manager, assistant manager. It wasn't this team, actually. It was EIF Academy. Haven't got a manager. Haven't got assistant manager. Haven't got any coaches. Haven't got a chief scout. It's like, what is going on? So I've been putting out adverts for these. Hopefully, these people don't want too much money. Even if we just get a manager here, at least he's doing something. Like at the moment, we haven't even got a manager for our academy. What is going on? So hopefully, oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, this is um, this came from my scouting. I think loads of agents came to me suggesting players, and they were all free agents. So I literally just offered everyone a trial. Uh, we can see maybe people we can pick up. Add to a short list to pick up. Because at the moment we've got literally no wages. So even if we find some players that could fit pretty well on our team. Just add them to the shortlist. And if they're still a free agent we can pick them up in the uh, in the transfer window. So in here already you can see there's some good players. Let's go to squad info. So this is all the trial players down here. As you can see this guy is 36. So I don't really want to be picking him up. Obviously, he's going to do a job, but he's 36 years old. Uh, so this guy, I am going to terminate trial. Uh, we've got a shot stopper. 23 years old, see? He's 23. Can't imagine he's going to want a lot of money. So I'll add him to the shortlist. Adebambo, he's got some nice... That's there. See, he's 20 years old. We may as well pick him onto the shortlist. And I'm going to keep doing this for trials. Um, to see who we can bring in. Even as two-star winger. It's going to be perfect for us. Because our team is just so light. Our team is just... Like, in terms of the first team, we've only got two people that aren't in the first squad. So if we get like two injuries, that's it. We're going to have grayed out players coming in. And that's not what we want to say. So, yeah, I'll continue going through these trials, working my way through them. Obviously, people like this one star, like these ones, don't really particularly want to keep them. Uh, we're looking forward to the future. Yeah, so these guys, these guys are just terminate trials. And then these ones, I will add to the short list. There we go. Okay, so that's that. We've gone through the short list. I've updated where we are. Yeah, let's have a look at our fixtures. So yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five games. And we are currently five points behind the team above us. But relegation, we are nine points. So we've got to win three out of those five games and this team to not win any. I think this is a massive ask. I personally, I think we're getting relegated pretty sharpish. 
but I, I it's an impossible job. Like I came here, we had eight points. At least I got us one point, <laughs> got us a little bit closer. So yeah, we'll progress forward. Uh, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, so we just signed a under twenties coach. I don't think we had any coaches in the under twenties, which is just crazy if you think about it. Like what is going on? Uh, he's on sixty pounds per week, so we're not breaking the bank. Uh, I think it's just this is just something we need to do. Like if it puts us in the bread for money, I don't mind. Like this is just something you need to do to progress. So I'm going to try and pick up the staff members for these two teams. All right, we've got a tough game coming up uh, against sixth in the league, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that maybe these last five games would be against teams that maybe we have a chance against. <laughs> Unfortunately, Darren Smith is, he was, he did get injured, but it looks like he should be okay. We'll give him a go because he's pretty much our best player. So <laughs> apart from the center back, uh, but yeah, let's see where to go here. This is the team we're going to go with. I haven't changed too much. I just, for some reason, they automatically put uh, this Geller into the ball winning midfielder role when he's just more suited to like playmaking. And then they put this guy into the box to box midfielder who's more suited to tackling and the ball winning midfielder role. So it's a bit strange why they do that. Obviously, there must be a reason. But we're going to go with this team. Pretty much, we've got a pretty good bat line here. I would like to play. Why are we not playing? Okay. That was a little oversight by me there, but yeah, we'll play uh, Gizzo Kenka. He's probably not playing because of morale, uh, but we need him in there. That's that's probably our best back line right there. Um, and then we've got pretty much the same attacking. I Personally, I think we're going down. I'm already beaten. <laughs> like these players are really quite poor. So we just need to try and, like, that That draw should have gave us a little bit of confidence. So hopefully we go into this game and we just sort of progress, just kind of build on that last game. But this we're playing in sixth place if we get anything out of this somehow. Okay, highlight incoming. We do actually have the ball and it's crossed in. Ullmanen, that was a big chance. Ooh, unlucky. It's good to see, though. It's good to see that we had the first highlight and encouraged the team. Okay, the other team got a highlight. The free kick, it did test, but Fillion just tipped it over the bar. It's good that we didn't concede there. And we clear the ball. It's going to be pretty half-time pretty sharp. I think it's probably going to come in now. Oh no, they've got a free kick. Oh no, it's half-time. There we go. <laughs> I thought that was a free kick. Uh, but there we go. Stats-wise, we are dominating, keeping possession. We had two shots, and one of them was a big chance. That Ullmanen chance was huge. That was a big chance for him to miss. Uh, one thing I am seeing is Darren Smith is tired already. I'm going to give him probably to about 50th minute, maybe 60th. And I might look at taking him off. Uh, but other than that, it's looking, I'm quite happy about it's going. Okay, highlight straight after half time, and we have the ball ourselves. There's Konkobi, he's, he's kicked it forwards, he's gone to no one. Um, The other team are building. Uh, I assume this is going to be their highlight. No, it's good. it might be our highlight. Here we go. Hagland running down the right hand side. That was quite poor. <laughs> Gave the ball away. Oh, Darren Smith back in, doing well, tracking back. That looked offside to me. Ullmanen's in on goal though. Takes a shot, keeper saves it. So that wasn't actually offside. Quite surprised. Uh, we actually had a good chance then. Uh, corner coming from this, Geller crosses it in and it gets headed away, back to Geller again, he crosses it back in, Ullmanen headed straight at the keeper, so we're having a lot of chances here oh it's another highlight straight away Geller on the free kick, he's hit the bar oh I thought that was going to get onto the rebound but this is so promising, I am liking what I'm seeing ok so Darren Smith, he's going to have to come off he's literally run himself into the ground and we're going to bring on Astrada. Let me... Obviously, I haven't learnt the players just yet. Let's see. Now, this guy is quite good, to be honest. Uh, Astrada, what are you saying? See, I, I'd play the other guy. 
Let's put Darren Smith off for Lindholm. There we go. See how that goes for a while. All right, so we're in the 75th minute. I'm just going to do a few subs here. So on the wing, we are going to bring on Strada. And do we have a striker on the bench? We have Lukanen. He's got 11 finishing, to be fair with him. Let's give him a go up there. Okay, highlight incoming. 76th minute. Can we finally make the breakthrough, which we have deserved so far? Estrada into Lukanen. It gets defended. So the other team are attacking now, unfortunately. Please get a foot in. We don't want to concede now. Not after having such a good game. Here we go. Ekstrom cleared it. Ojanen on the left left side. He's going to run it. Uh, but he passes it back. Ah, oh, come on. What is this highlight going to come to? Please be our chance, please. Estrada. Super sub of dreams. He's running down the line. He crosses it in. We've got four players in the box. Lind Lindholm. Lindholm's he's in. Shoot. Someone oh, just put in the goal. Estrada's still here though. Ah, oh, damn it, man. Oh, that was a, such a big highlight. The ball was just there. Someone just needed to just finish it. So uh, 86th minute. Looks like the game's going to end here. His stats-wise, we've fully dominated. Oh, no, they've got a corner in the last second, too. We've headed it out. Is someone going to counter-attack here? Is there going to be a counter-attack, please? I don't want to concede at this moment right here. It looks like we're going to concede. I oh, know, Sevon. Please. For how well we've played, if we concede here, morale is just going to hit the floor. Come on. Is this please be our highlight somehow? Please. Oh no, here we go. They're going to score. It's a good save. Billion, that is such a brilliant save. Oh, it was offside as well. That's good. Keeper didn't know though. Uh, so we end the game 0 0. Personally, I take that away from home, 0 0. The sixth in the league. That is, I'm really quite chuffed with that. And looking at the stats, I'm kind of annoyed that we didn't come away with the win, but I'll take, I'll take the draw, like 100%. All right, we've just got an offer coming for the Arc, Arc, Arn Kill. Arn Kill. Um, he's pretty much our third best left back. So I'm going to get rid of him. He's on zero wages. He's worth zero pounds. But he's just an extra person we can get out, clear everyone out, and hopefully start afresh when the transfer window comes. And hopefully start afresh in the same league as now. <laughs> yeah, so by the looks of it, two teams above us, Musa and SJK, they both must have lost or at least drew. Uh, so we did gain a point on them. And it looks like Ginnistan is still on 18 2. So we gained a little bit. We only need eight points now from four games. That is a lot to ask for. But considering how well we played last game, I, c I can generally see it happening. Oh, okay, here's our running. It's bringing up our running for us. Um, so we're competing with these three teams here. Uh, but I kind of want to see Ginnistan's running as well. Uh, but we've only got... Oh, no, here they are. I can scroll down. Okay, so EIF ourselves. We're away at fifth place. Home to fourth place. Away at seventh as well. Like Musa is the only team that I can realistically say that we'll beat. But that's a bit frustrating that we haven't got an easier run in. But at the same time, SJK, they got quite a hard run in there. Uh, Gunistan, they got two semi easy teams, but then they got two very hard teams. So all we got to do is just do the best that we can in our four games. I'm carrying on, keep putting people on trial, whoever's suggested in scouting, just offer him a trial. Uh, I don't really mind if it kind of ruins the squad mechanics at the moment because the team's just not good enough. Um, so there's certain players in here that I would personally like to sign up. Um, probably those three people. Um, so if we just add them to our shortlist. And then all these other ones, I'm not too, too fussed about. So we'll just let them finish their trial. I've only got them in for a week. And then, yeah, I was going to continue doing this in the background. I just wanted to highlight it to you guys. 
this is how I'm building up my short list of players that could improve our team uh, pretty well. Okay, so jumping into the next game, we're playing F F Jaro away. I think pretty sure they're fourth place. They're sixth place, okay, but they're quite the points. They could be fourth place. Um, so pretty hard game coming up. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, we've lost our best centre back as well because he's suspended. So it's not looking too too good. I'm not looking positive, but compared to that last game, that last game we completely completely dominated. Um, so if we just have play that same way, uh, it seems like Darren Smith has arranged to um, leave in the meantime. So he's he's going to be leaving at the end of the season, which is unfortunate. These are pretty much our best player. And if you look at his stats, he's not actually that good. Uh, but at this level, it looks like he's probably one of our best players. Uh, so let's jump into this game anyway and see where this takes us. Okay, not too much has happened. So this is the first highlight of the game in the 90th minute. The 19th minute, sorry. And unfortunately, it comes off the post and the striker latches back onto it. Uh, that's quite poor to see that it, he managed to get onto his own rebound. Like the keeper and two defenders were in the way. And he still managed to get onto it. So let's just rewatch this. It's a good header, but it hits the post and the keeper has no reactions at all. And he, he couldn't get in the way of that, so... Unfortunate to be one nil one nil down straight away, uh, but in terms of stats, we're not doesn't look like we're doing too bad. Uh, so hopefully we just keep this going, try and get a goal back. Uh, so there's another highlight. It looks like their highlight. So they're on the attack, on the edge of the box. They're overloaded this right hand side, but there's a good tackle there. We got Darren Smith coming through. He needs to create something for us. Olmanen's running through. He takes a shot and it's in. What a goal from Olmanen. Where the hell did that come from? I was like, oh, he's going to outpace him. And he's like, nah, I'm shooting from here, mate. Well done. That is the first goal of our under our management. Olmanen from probably 23 yards, roughly. Straight into the bottom corner. It's good to see. Nice finish. Yeah, it's a highlight straight away. <laughs> 36th minute. You know, we've got the ball here. It's a kind of hopeful ball up, but it falls to Ogenen. The left hand side to El Ekstrom. Ekstrom on that left back. And we're playing some nice football. Hagelin's through. He plays it. Ogenen. Oh no, that is such a big chance. It's such good football as well. Like we created such a good chance. And he just chose the wrong corner to shoot to to be honest like the whole left hand side was open and he shot to the right so that takes us to half time i'm very happy with that we even had the chance to sort of go up in that game just then before half time uh, but in terms of stats we're kind of even we're dominating possession and this is good to see like this team is sixth place and they were fourth when i last looked um so this is good to see okay, another highlight coming up the other team are taking the throw in. Good header away. They need to get the ball back though. They've kind of hoofed it forwards. And the guy was in. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's offside. Yeah, it's offside. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Uh, so they seem to be getting on top a little bit. Nine shots to seven now. Uh, possession's slowly going down. But there's another highlight here. It's sort of just... Hopefully kicked forwards. Very poor. But I'm trying to play direct because our players aren't very good. But they just seem to be lumping it for no reason. And that, there's another big chance there for Jaro. Luckily for us. And not much came of it. The 70th minute. I'm going to do some subs here. I kind of want to keep Darren Smith on. Seeing as he is our best player. Olmanen, let's put... Who's got the best finishing out of... has got 11. And Estrada's got... 8. So let's put... Lukanen up front. Let's change Hagland for Estrada. And maybe midfielder. Midfielder for Lindholm. 
and I might swap them over. Okay, let's go for that. Three sets of fresh legs on the pitch. Okay, straight away a highlight for Jaro. At the front post, he's just brought it down, not even being challenged. It's got to be offside. It's not offside. Damn it. So the two one down. It just looked like it was offside. They had about four players that had just stood next to my goalkeeper. So he passes it backwards. Let's see if this is. Oh, I think it was this guy. There was one guy. I think it was like he was the right back and he was about here and it played literally everyone on side. If he got out, it's just offside. Uh, but yeah, another highlight incoming. Kind of hopefully kick it forwards again. And they're in again. It's a good tackle. Oh, it's, he's given a penalty. No. That looked like a good tackle to me. But yeah, it seems like we're just crumbling in these last seconds. And he's hit the post. That's good. Come on, let's, let's build on that now. Build. I'm going to encourage the team. I am going to go to very attacking as well. Being as we... We're pretty much going to be relegated. So let's go very attacking. Let's go at teams. Let's try and create something. And nothing was created. So <laughs> that was the end of the game there. Unfortunately, we lost 2-1 away at Jaro. I'm not surprised. Uh, but we did have some big chances in that game, which I'm kind of frustrated about. Um, so we'll have to see where that puts us now. So we're on 10 points. The so relegation now is 21, so we need 11 points without either one of these two teams winning. This is... No, oh, I've been sacked! No! I've actually been sacked. In failing to avoid relegation. I feel that is very harsh, man. Like This is my first journeyman. I've never been through the situation before, but... I joined with six games left, was on eight points, and to get out of relegation was 18. And we got two draws and a loss. I can see why they have sacked me because. No, reject. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. I can see why they have, have got rid of me there, but personally, I think that's very, very harsh. Very harsh. But I felt, I felt like we played some good football in there. I was creating good chances. It's, unfortunately, we just didn't get the job done that needed to be done, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be <laughs> looking for another job now. That was very short-lived, our first job. Unfortunately, sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully in the next game... In the next episode, not the next game, in the next episode, we get a job, hopefully, and we get more time, should we say, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.